Tonight we are hearing the horrifying story of two men attacked with stun guns before being beaten and robbed at gunpoint. And their case is just part of a crime spree that's been unfolding in Northwest Washington. These attacks began Monday morning and they've all happened between Logan Circle and the Convention Center. Now police have launched a manhunt. Jennifer Donnelly joins us now and she's got interviews that you will only see on seven. Jennifer. Well, Leon, obviously police highly concerned about these cases. I'm standing at the corner of 9th Street and N Street in Northwest. This is the Washington Convention Center behind me. Police put it this way. They say the suspects have absolutely no regard at all for their victims. First, they're shocked into submission. They beat them up and then they rob them at gunpoint. And as if the stun gun wasn't enough, here are two of the victims' stories. So they take the stun gun and they hit you right here in the head. Yes. This 55-year-old father was suddenly attacked on N Street Northwest early Tuesday morning by two men, he said, armed with a stun gun. But that wasn't all. Did they hit you? Yeah. Did they hit yes, you? Too, too much. Too much, he said. Then, with a gun pointed at his head... You were scared? Yes. Yeah. Very scared? Mm -hmm, very scared. He said they robbed him. Uh, $300. They took $300 mm -hmm. from you? Yeah. The frightening reality, he wasn't alone. He was only one of four victims attacked during a 48-hour period along N Street between 9th and 14th Streets. The first violent crime was Monday at 2 a.m. This 21-year-old restaurant worker said, I was scared when they took out the gun. In his case, three men armed with a stun gun attacked him and his cousin. First, he said they hit him with the stun gun in his neck. He fell. He said they kicked him hard. Only in the stomach. He said he doesn't exactly know what happened to his cousin, but he said his cousin passed out and is still in the hospital. Meanwhile, the men, he said, put a handgun to his chin. He said the violent group stole $800 cash he planned to wire to his family in Mexico. The money's gone, he's still in pain, and everyone from seasoned detectives to residents is on high alert. You're defenseless. No place is as safe as you think when things like this start happening. Now, as far as descriptions of these suspects, because all of our victims in these cases were shocked, uh, they were incoherent and unable to give police detailed descriptions of these suspects. But the main point, police say, is that they were all armed, guns and a knife in one of the cases. Now, as far as the times of these crimes, we're told 2 a.m., 4.30 p.m., and 5 a.m. If you have any information, call D.C. Police. Reporting live from Northwest, I'm Jennifer Donnell in ABC 7 News. Okay, Jennifer, want to get a look at the